Hello everyone, welcome to study automation. Today we are going to see how we can automate keyboard and mouse events through Selenium. So let's get started. Here you can see we have Instagram and uh, we want to enter here some data. So what we will do, we will try to enter username or any any text here in the small letter and then using mouse event and uh, using keyboard event, we will try to convert into, into capital letter and then we will see. So for that, let's go to our code. Here I have already added web driver path for the Chrome browser and then we have created here web driver object now let's write here driver dot get and then we will pass here the url and then we will try to run it right page is opened now let's inspect this element and let's find out some uh, unique identifier so here this is our input box and we can see here that we have name equal to username so i can use name equal to username or we have other option i can go to the copy and then I, either i can use copy selector copy x path we have these all options available but let's go with the normal one and then here i will try to write here driver dot find element by dot name and then we will pass it the username and then we'll do dot send keys and then we will try to send here test data let's see okay so here we get some error error is saying that no such element exception okay that means the page loading takes time so uh, what we need to do is we have to add here uh, default timeout and then our application will work fine so for that what we will do after uh, driver.get we can add here uh, driver dot manage dot timeout dot implicit weight so here we have a uh, implicit weight overloaded function available but this one is deprecated so we have to use m implicitly weight and then we'll pass duration so uh, let's go here and see duration Okay, so duration is basically a final class. So what I can do here is uh, we'll go here and write duration dot duration dot uh, off and then here we can use let's say seconds and I am giving 10 seconds. So maximum time will be 10, 10 seconds to wait and then it can enter the text that we are passing here so let's run it again and see if it is working or not yes it's working fine and we can see here test data is coming let's focus on the next part that is event handling so what we will do uh, instead of directly sending text from here we can uh, store this element into the web element and then I'll say E el equal to this one and let's import it now after that we have here web element created and then we can do el dot send send keys which will work fine but we have to now perform actions so for that we have actions class and then i'll say this is a builder equal to new actions and inside this we have to basically uh, pass the web driver so I'll say driver 
object this driver object we can pass into the actions class and I have named it as builder or you can simply say actions so now after that what we need to do is we need to create uh, action class or basically we have inside this builder dot you can see we'll have to do build or we have to do perform right so if you will do build then we'll have to take it as i mean return type as action so let's create that one also so i'll say action equal to new builder uh, builder dot build and okay this is wrong class i imported so we need to import from selenium so as of now it's fine now this builder build method will be used in last so before that what we will do is we can add here dot move to let's say we have one method available move to where you need to specify on which web element you want to perform actions so here i can say i want to perform on el okay or, or let's rename it to username username so i can pass it here this username and uh, so i can write something like this so builder dot build to username and then build so what will happen it will jump to the username field and after that what we wanted to do we want to click on it so now let's say i have just clicked on it so what it will do it will move to so we have this web element this move to element will move to the web element the particular text box and then it will click on it after clicking what we want so let's see by this time will uh, will that work or not so after doing all the things we have to do action dot perform this is the last command that you need to do and it should work so let's say it is working or not okay so as of now since we have not sent but you can see cursor is available at here now we need to send data to this one so what since we have not used any send keys so we have to do now so after clicking on that text box what we will do we will write a start writing so we can say key down we will use here key down and inside key down we can see we have two methods available so i'll use this one and then i can say element is is username and then here we need to uh, you, we need to pass the event keyboard even event so i'll say that we have here keys class available and then i want to press the shift key since i want to pass the data in the capital letter so now i have pressed the shift key so once you will press shift key and whenever you will start writing anything right you can see it is coming in the capital letter so now i have already pressed this uh, the uh, shift key and then i will try to send data from here so i'll say now test data save it and then let's try to run it again yes so you can see now it started writing in capital letter this happened because we have pressed the shift key and after doing this thing what we can do is we can uh, do key up and then using that we will back from here and uh, then we have i mean the, we have other options are like we can do uh, key up and here we can pass the username right on which text you want to perform and then i'll say keys dot shift this is also we can do then we have uh, we can double click on that so right now if you can see i can double click on that so once we will double click it will be automatically select the text box so let's say if i'll do dot double click right and then let's check if it is uh, working or not So these are some of the methods which is available in the action builder class. You can see 
this text is selected because we have double clicked now if you want to right click you have option that is uh, called context so i'll do dot context click so context click is basically a right click and if i will run it now you will see the right click menu will show here right you can see it is coming so this is how we can handle the uh, keyboard and mouse event from here so and and you have to remember the last method should be dot build so that it can accept and it can return action and from action you can do perform that means these all things will be clubbed together and then from here it will perform all the operations that you have mentioned here hope you have learned something from it thank you so much